Okay, so having seen how to animate uh, rotation, now we're going to talk about position. And the ideas behind this are very, very similar. Um, we're going to need a variable that's going to change over time. Um, so I'm back in my sketch, and I'm, I actually need two variables. I need one for the X position of the shape. This is going to be something that's going to change. Right now, I'm not going to set it to a, a value because I want to start it in the middle. And remember, width and height don't exist until we've created our canvas. So until we run this create canvas command, width and height uh, won't, you'll get an error if you do that. So I'm going to do x equals width divided by 2. Um, of course, you could start it at 0 or a known position. But in this case, um, I'm going to do this. And then the other variable I want is one called speed. And in our rotation example, we hard coded. We, we wrote in the number for how quickly that's going to spin. Uh, for this, I'm going to create this as a global variable. This makes it really easy for me to tune and tweak and change how this kind of works. Um, so I'm going to do three, and then we can see how this sort of looks. Um, cool. So let's start just by drawing a square in the current position. So again, no stroke. I'm going to use rec mode. Uh, center. Um, if this was something you were using in your whole sketch, you could do it up here in setup and then it would apply to everything. Uh, but I kind of like having it here because I think it's a little more readable. The cat is once again, he's made a full circuit. He's trying to come through. Hi, buddy. You can't come up here right now. Uh, then I'm going to draw a square at X. It's going to be our X position. Uh, my Y position is going to be fixed. I'm just going to have it move back and forth sideways. So I'm going to do height divided by two. All right, buddy. And then my size is going to be 100. So I'm going to save this, refresh my browser, verify that it works. This idea of working step by step is really good instead of trying to build this whole animation and then figure out why is it not working. So to make it change position, just like rotation, we need to modify the variable, uh, in this case, x. So x plus equals speed. I'll save this and refresh. And now we see it move to the right. If we wanted it to move to the left, we could subtract speed. But what's happening now is it's moving across the screen and off screen, off screen, off screen, and we can't see it anymore. So let's say we want it to bounce back and forth. We want it to hit the edge and go back, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, well, to do this, we can use an if statement. So we can think about, so we know the size of our square. Um, one thing we could just do is say, if x is less than 0, or if x is greater than width, uh, then we can reverse the speed. And there's a really clever way to do this. You could um, do these as separate if statements. But if we multiply speed by negative 1, then it's going to reverse direction. So if it's positive, you multiply by negative 1, and it stays the same, but it's negative. And if it's negative, it becomes positive, and it'll bounce back and forth. So we can try this. But what we're going to see happen is that our box extends um, halfway to the edge, and then it bounces. And that's because its x position is in the middle rather than on the edges. So if we want to make this, maybe this is what we want, but um, maybe we want to make this go almost all the way or until it hits the edge. So I know that my box is 100 pixels wide. So half of that would be 50 on this side. So I want to go until it hits 50, which is almost at the edge. And on the other side, it would be width minus 50. And now it bounces like we want. Um, this would be a good example, too, where maybe you want a variable for the size of that box. So you could do that size divided by 2. would be a lot easier to change it. Um, but this is super simple. This is just um, modifying the x position, just like we did rotation. And it allows us to animate this thing. If we change the speed, we'll see it move quicker. Uh, you could try adding a y variable as well. So you could kind of make it bounce around like the old school DVD menu and stuff like that. Um, and we'll see some examples like that later. Um, but that's position. In the next couple, we'll talk about uh, size and color. Uh, but again, if these are all kind of starting to make sense and you're like, ah, I see how I would do that, you can go ahead and <laughs> cat attack. Um, and you can go ahead and um, uh, skip ahead to the next ones. Okay.